Hello, and work, welcome to this week's Inspire For You Poetry Moment. I am Joanne Meekins, founder of Inspire For You Publications. And today's word is entitled, The Three T's of Stewardship. God created you in his image with power, love, and authority to render your tithe talents and time, stewardships, three T's. Stewardship is not an option. It is your sacred duty with proper regards to one another to manage your life and property. God expects you to pay tribute with your tithes, talents, and time, using your money and abilities to meet the needs of mankind. Use your gifts to make a difference, getting actively involved. You are members of one body, each needed to do your part. Work smart to earn a living and be a compassionate support. Be a living sacrifice for God, rich in good works with each effort. When you journey through the Old Testament, you will find it amply shows. Offerings for the place of worship and priests of God produce a mutual overflow. In the New Testament church example, all believers were one in heart and mind. Believers shared everything they had. All needs were met and all were treated kind. It is time to set the record straight and break down the facts. God's intention about tithing is simply that. He wants to bless your life completely and sustain the church. He doesn't need it. He owns everything in heaven and earth. You're just returning one-tenth of what's already his. It profits your account when you wholeheartedly give. When you give of your best offerings unto the Lord, he will increase you till you won't have room to store it all. Don't worry about how you will make do or survive. See God's kingdom first. He knows your needs. He will provide. The love of money leads to temptations, traps, and will deceive and cause your hands to tightly clench, unable to give or receive. Cautious people grow poorer while some free spenders grow rich, but being prosperous for God helps you become prosperous. As a measure, give proportionately to what God has given you you will then live in continual increase and be blessed in all you do. Thus, offer sacrifices of your tithes, talents, and time. With praise and thanksgiving, let your light so shine. Do it willingly, pure-heartedly. Don't doubt or hesitate because offerings from wicked people with evil motives, the Lord doth hate. Amen. And my scripture reference this time is from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Amen. So I hope you found encouragement in today's words, a little guidance on how we are to be good stewards of what God has blessed us with. And until the next time, be encouraged, stay blessed, peace, and love.